Disney is known for their pristine reputation and well-behaved stars. So what happens when the reins are let go and a celebrity runs wild? Stick around until the end to find out the shocking reason one famous face may be banned from Disney forever. New here? Well, welcome! Remember to subscribe below for more videos just like this. Leave us a comment and like below as well. Now let's discover 10 celebs who were fired by Disney. Chloe Grace Moretz this little lady has lit up the screen in a pile of dark, edgy movies. She has had the chance to play complicated roles at a young age, acting in films such as Carrie, The Fifth Wave, and The Equalizer. However, prior to landing heaps of career-rocking roles, Chloe Grace Moretz was up for the voice of Penny in Disney's 2008 animated film, Bolt. Chloe actually voiced over the entire film, playing the role of Penny, Bolt's owner and best friend. Chloe unfortunately was let go and replaced by fellow Disney lady Miley Cyrus. At the time, Chloe was only 11 years old. However, it hasn't seemed to have slowed her career down one bit. If anything, the incident may have motivated her to seek roles that fit what she wants to accomplish as an actor. Now in 2018, her career has skyrocketed. Though Disney did let her go, she is in the mix to be potentially playing Ariel in the live-action version of the Hans Christian Andersen classic fairy tale. In an interview with Digital Spy, Chloe says, It's going to be really different to see The Little Mermaid on screen. We're going to show the story that we really want to show, which is not the Disney one. The new film, directed by Rob Marshall, will be much darker and naturalist, as the original story was written. Fingers crossed Chloe books the part. We can't wait to see what frightening corner of the sea she would take her character, but whatever it is, it won't be Disneyland. Jake T. Austin a rebel child at heart, this young man, Jake T. Austin, has definitely stirred up some trouble with the major studio. The Foster star made headlines in 2014. He crashed his Audi into three parked cars at 3 a.m. in the morning in Sherman Oaks, California. He was charged with a DUI and was facing six months in jail, plus charges. Jake hit it big when he booked Wizards of Waverly Place alongside Selena Gomez in 2007. He then played Jesus Foster on The Fosters, which was executive produced by none other than Jennifer Lopez. The real blow-up came at an awards show when Jake's hormones seemed to take over, or maybe it was just his ego. Either way, the Disney star behaved in a way that Disney definitely would not have approved of. At the Teen Choice Awards in 2014, Jake went ballistic backstage, showing the true colors he had acquired from stardom. Jake went full ape at a female employee who didn't recognize him yelling, "'Don't you know who I am?' He continued screaming, "'I'm a presenter!' He went on to say things along the lines of, "'Who are you?' but with more colorful language to say the least. Then he threw an empty shoebox at her face. Jake's role in The Fosters was recast, with fellow Disney star Noah Centineo, after the character had been absent from the show for some time. TMZ's article regarding Jake's ludicrous behavior was titled, Foster's Star Goes Full Lohan, which we think is brilliant. Colin Trevorrow it seems that when Disney fires people, they like to say they mutually parted ways, when in fact it is a pink slip to go, or at least something of the sorts. On the latest Star Wars, Episode 9, Colin Trevorrow was fired from his position as director. He is already the second director to be sacked from the worldwide anticipated film. Colin is the director and writer of the newest 2015 Jurassic movie called Jurassic World. He is the co-writer of Star Wars Episode 9, the same film he was fired from. Disney, who acquired Lucasfilms in 2012 for $4 billion, parted ways with the director when their visions weren't aligning. The stakes for the Star Wars films are so high that even seasoned veterans are not a sure bet. Previous to Colin being let go, Phil Lord and Chris Miller were also fired from the standalone Han Solo film. They were replaced with film guru and Star Wars alumni J.J. Abrams. Kathleen Kennedy, the head of Lucasfilms and the person who all creative decisions are passed through, has severed ties with anyone who isn't seeing her path with the films. The working relationship between Colin and Kathleen became unmanageable, and their visions for the project differed to the point of termination. Apparently, Colin has been hard to work with in the past. On Star Wars, gatekeeper Kathleen made the call to follow her navigation of the franchise. May the force be with the new director, Jedi J.J. Abrams. Megan Mullally Megan Mullally is best known for her high-pitched, funny, boozy character of Karen Walker on the hit show Will & Grace. However, when Disney hired Megan, she made it clear that she did not want to play the same role for the series. Megan wanted to create a new voice and a new character for her role in Finding Nemo. She was soon fired from the hugely successful underwater animation film. Disney had originally hired Megan because of her signature voice, but tried to do so in a manipulative way. The studio and Megan agreed together that she could create whatever voice she wanted. However, once she began, Megan was constantly pressured to raise 
raise her voice. When she refused, Disney terminated her from her contract. In an interview with the Chicago Tribune, Megan says she was confused by the request. She had made it clear in many discussions prior to accepting the role that she would not be playing Karen for them. Megan said regarding the request, Now, wait a minute, so you're telling me you want this fish, who lives in a fish tank, in a dentist's office, to be a fictitious character from an NBC sitcom? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. We agree, Megan, though we would have loved you in that ocean world. Mitchell Musso where to begin with this little delinquent? The former Hannah Montana star was arrested for a DUI in Burbank, California in 2011 at the age of 20. So not only was he underage, but he was also driving drunk. Not the best combination. The star blew well above the allowed blood alcohol level 0.8 BAC limit. Mitchell was pulled over in his Mercedes-Benz after not abiding to an officer. Ultimately, in the end, the celeb paid a fine and was released. Mitchell Musso is best known as Miley Cyrus' sidekick, but has made a name for himself since as a Disney celeb. Mitchell starred on Disney's Pair of Kings and lent his voice to Phineas and Ferb. Now, Mitchell has moved on to new projects such as the horror film The Sand. He was let go from the studio following the DUI incident. The arrest put him in the Disney DUI Hall of Fame with Lindsay Lohan, Shia LaBeouf, and Britney Spears. A petition even appeared online called Bring Mitchell Musso Back to Pair of Kings. The petition stated that he shouldn't be condemned for making one mistake. Well, it's clear that Disney protects their image at any cost, running the happy-go-lucky mouse studio with an iron fist. Mitchell Musso isn't the first to be let go from the studio for bad behavior, and he certainly won't be the last. Vanessa Hudgens Vanessa Hudgens first made her name on the wildly successful cult film High School Musical. She shot to superstardom from the multiple sequels that followed, becoming one of Disney's happy celebs. High School Musical broke records when it aired on the Disney Channel. Anyone involved was sure to have a blossoming career. The squeaky clean, family-friendly image that Disney is relentless about is something that Vanessa represents. However, in 2007, when nude photos leaked of Vanessa, Disney wasn't so sure if they should keep the star employed. The rumors and controversy over the release of these intimate photos fueled speculation on Vanessa being dumped from Disney. Miss Wholesome wasn't such an angel after all. Vanessa's career has spanned a wide range of projects from the edgy Spring Breakers to Sucker Punch and Gimme Shelter. The rumors were spreading back in 2007, but it appears that Vanessa is in the clear with Disney now, although she no longer works with the studio. After doing Grease Live, this girl let go of Disney herself. She's now taking over the world of primetime television. This ain't a musical any longer, folks. PewDiePie PewDiePie, yet another YouTube blow-up sensation that was released from Disney's strangling grip in summer 2017. We're not so sure that this star really wanted to leave the channel, but he had no choice. The YouTube influencer, whose real name is Felix Kjellberg, was let go after making anti-Semitic jokes on his ever-popular vlog. Over the summer of 2017, PewDiePie posted nine videos featuring degrading signs that offended his viewers. Sure, they were presented in a joking way, but he did admit to them being offensive. Not only was he dropped from Disney, but he would also face repercussions that would affect him in a major financial way. Google, who owns YouTube, removed PewDiePie from their premium advertising program, as well as canceling the second season of his reality show. In an article published in Time titled, The Richest YouTube Star of All Time Just Got Fired by Disney, Felix assures his fans by saying, as laughable as it is to believe that I might actually endorse these people to anyone unsure on my standpoint regarding hate-based groups, no, I don't support these people in any way. His provocative YouTube channel still remains with millions and millions of subscribers. Felix has big plans for the future, and we don't think he's going anywhere, despite the drama in summer 2017. Teo Holm Teo Holm is one of the few fired from Disney for reasons other than bad behavior. Teo Holm was cast in Disney's much-anticipated spin-off of their hit show, Boy Meets World. The new show is smartly named Girl Meets World. Teo was scheduled to play the main character's elder brother, Elliot until it was decided that the role was not required. Teo tweeted the news to the world saying, So guys, Disney decided it wouldn't work to have an older brother on the show. I won't be on Girl Meets World. Thank you to everyone. What a classy and smooth exit from such a young star. Danielle Fischel, who was to play his mother on the show, tweeted back, Teo, you are an incredible talent and I adore you. You may still call me mom. So cute. It sure seems as if he'll be missed by the famous Matthews family. Teo Holm wrapped a TV movie in 2017 called Camp, for Rabbit Bandini Films. He starred alongside actress Joey King from Independence Day. His most recent film shot in 2017 is called Spiral Farm. It stars Amanda Plummer and is directed by Alex Tibaldi, a new young Australian director. Previously, Teo trained at the famous Groundlings Improv Theater in Los Angeles, a space where actors such as Will Ferrell, Lisa Kudrow, and Melissa McCarthy came out of. Looks like Teo is booking work and making a name, despite his unfortunate, unwanted removal from the Disney team. Jake Paul 
The Paul brothers always seem to be in the news one way or another, causing havoc or pulling some sort of obnoxious prank, which is exactly what landed Jake Paul back in his living room and off the set of Disney's Bizarre Bark. Previous to living in his $6.9 million mansion, Jake Paul lived in an $18,000 a month house in Beverly Grove. Many of his neighbors are esteemed professionals from the entertainment industry who have had enough of Jake's immature behavior. They are even considering a class action lawsuit against the YouTuber. In summer 2017, Disney finally called it quits with Jake after a mishap with a KTLA news crew. The star had already rattled some of the higher-ups at Disney for continuing posting videos to his millions and millions of subscribers. So what was the incident that made Disney expedite his removal from the show, the YouTube sensation and his housemates were lighting fires in their drained swimming pool. Followed by drag racing dirt bikes outside their resident, KTLA sent a news crew, which Jake and his gang responded to by mocking the reporter's shoes, climbing on the news van, and shooting a t-shirt cannon at him. However, it doesn't seem like Jake was upset and his career has definitely not suffered. The influencer said to Hollywood Reporter, I knew I always wanted to be a 50% social media and 50% traditional media. I believe the stars of the future will need both. So fingers crossed for Jake that he lands another series soon. Bella Thorne Bella Thorne, the wild child of Disney, is the first to say she never wanted to be part of it. Bella never felt like she fit inside Disney's tight box when they squeezed their stars in. She wanted to dress in crop tops and speak in her normal voice. It's true, Disney maintains a very strong grasp on their talent to uphold the friendly image. Disney made Bella speak in a higher-pitched voice to be more accessible to her younger audience. What is the real reason that Bella took the job? Her family was nearly homeless, and the role saved them financially, which was an honorable act. But as soon as Bella could, she shook that innocent image off. It is a job Bella should have been grateful for, as it made her into the star that she is today. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar, Bella speaks about discovering herself once she was free of the contractual restraints of Disney. She says that everyone asks who she is, which she is still finding out since her Disney days. While working for Disney, casting barely saw her because of her pristine image. Upon begging for auditions, Bella received praise for her abilities. She has now been on sets like The Death and Life of John F. Donovan, alongside Jessica Chastain and Natalie Portman. Bella told Harper's Bazaar, I was just a puppet. I wasn't allowed to make my own decisions or think for myself in any way. Well, you're free now, little bird. Fly, fly away. Who did you find was the most shockingly fired Disney celebrity? We want to know your thoughts, so leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.